Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to create an HTML uh, fr frames in HTML. I'm gonna go through this step by step on how to create a heading frame, the main frame, and these links. And when you click the link, when you click the link, the information will be displayed in here in the main frame. So as you can see, I click solids, it comes here. I click liquids, it comes here. I click gas, it comes here instead of coming here. So that it comes the main page. All right. So I'm just going to go to the step by step. So this is my first video. So if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And then this channel will not be only for YouTube tutorials on HTML and all that stuff. I will also make gaming videos. So first of all, you want to open up Notepad and you want to start short code by HTML. Uh, so this is advanced HTML. If you want to learn the basics and all the what is HTML? You can just go to other YouTube tutorials. This is just uh, frames. So in frames, you do not use the body tab. You use the frame set instead of body. And now for you need to divide. This is basically dividing the browser. This tells the uh, this tells the browser to divide itself, like into columns and rows. This is a, a row and this is like a column. So first of all, I'm gonna divide it for the uh, main main frame here this is a row as this is a row and this is a column so i'm going to divide it from a row for rows you need to write frame set yeah r o r w o s that's it equivalent to you put this double quotes and now like how much how much do you want to divide it i uh, let's say i want it to be 20 percent also make sure to use this person sign without it. if you just put the number it will not work and make sure that it is in these commas all right so frame set rows now you just not do not close it here you put a comma because you're dividing into two two pages like this is one frame and this is second frame for that so you can just close it on one so like the rest is 80 percent total is 100 it does not go more than that or less than that so you just have to write 80 percent or if you do not want to calculate how much is left for example you just Take it like 43 and you just don't want to cal uh, calculate how much re rest is remaining. You just put this star right here. This one. The browser will automatically calculate. So there you go. That's done. Now I'm just going to do from additional settings. These are not necessary. I'm just doing that to make the web page look uh, better. So frame border equivalent to yes. Like tells the browser if the frame border from the frame for the frame. Like this border should be visible or not. Now I'm just gonna specify the thickness. This specifies the thickness of it. Let's just say I'm gonna go for three. And now the color for the border. Just gonna go for let's say cyan. There you go. Now I'll close this. So now we have to load frames here, but this is not done. If you just put like this, only empty frame will come. No text will come here. So I'm not just gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna make something else with the same logic. There will be a heading frame, a main frame, and links which display information in the main frame. So we'll just leave it for now because we have to create another web page in order to load the frame. All right. Now I'm just gonna copy this. So I do, I do not want to write the, all these frame border and all that again. I'm just gonna change the rows uh, to columns because. The row is created now we are creating column this one this line right here okay so oops it's gonna go to calls and let's say we make that 30 percent and now again i will not calculate i just use star and browser to calculate so like we divide it into two because the star means one more so you need to load two frames so if you're wondering why i did not load another frame here it's because if you load another frame this line column line will just go straight up it will divide this into two uh, pages two and it will not become one main frame instead it will just become top two frames so we're not doing that we don't want that we just want a single frame like this so i did that but for the rest now if you want to load these two for the rest you just have to put two frames so again we have to create more additional web pages in order for them to work so i'm just going to leave them for now and we're going to create them later on all right so this is nested framer we're creating two frames and in in one if you want to create a heading frame you have to do the nesting nested framing so like if we put like frame set this done we we had to put slash frame set here but we're not doing that because we don't have header frame so i'm just gonna close it right here frame set there we go that's done and slash html so our dividing is done that's done 
Sorry, so I'm just going to create a new one now. This is going to be the main one. Right, so let me just open it up. I'm going to name it. Why you create a basic HTML page, not under using much code, just normal HTML page. I just want it central aligned and I want it a little bit bold. So I'm just going to go through a heading one. And I'm just going to name it like my channel's name. Not sure. Oops. I'm gonna come here, monitor, monster. There we go. Now close this. So we use slash to close the tags. So I'm just gonna go slash body to close the body, and then slash HTML to finish the document. All right, save that. And I'm just make sure to save all of these files in the same folder. So I'm just gonna save it in this YT tutorial. Uh, YT tutorial is where i'm going to save all of these documents so we're saving we can write any name so this is my title so i'm just going to make it title dot html you can write any name but dot html must come all right save there we go now we can load it over here so you need to do frame src src for source then you're going to write the name is title so title and you have to write dot html the full name there we go Make sure it is in everything I've put in double bubble, uh, double commas. You have to do that. All right. So that's done. And now I name the frame. We're not naming this document right here. No, we're just naming this main frame. So I'm just going to name it as main. Oh, main uh, main should be the um, this page over here. So let's just make the title. It's okay. You can name it anything. It's up to you. So I'll just close that. All right. So now we have to create for the one now here for this first one. This will come on the left. This frame will come on the left, and this one will come on the right. So on the left, I want links. So we will now create a page for links. So open another Notepad uh, document. Now just use the basics HTML body. I'm gonna go for H1 and links there we go slash h1 if you want like color to your web page like i put it one here and here you cannot do it over here you just have to do it in here so for example like i'll just show you body bg color i'm going to say i want yellow there we go that's how we do it so this is just a basic code you can once again i'm telling you you can check other tutorials for these basic stuffs so I'm just making them to like make my web page look better. So we're just gonna this color will be yellow now. So okay, so I'm just gonna come back to this page. Links. No, I'm just gonna start writing the links. Uh, let's say I'm on gaming vids. Once again, I will be making gaming videos. And now I want gap in the links. So your br every any space you give like yourself in the notepad document, the browser ignores it. You need to put this br or the p tag br for break and p for paragraph so br br to give extra gap now tutorial width tutorial width there you go just gonna do br again and br again and now lastly subscribe there you go so there will be low no line under it so you can just close that Crash. boy and slash html there we go and now this is done so let's just say i want to make this a little bit bigger so i'm just gonna use the phone tag phone size okay, i'm going to say i'm going to six there we go i'm gonna save this real quickly this is our links so i'm just gonna go for links dot html there we go save it you can save it with any name once again, but dot HTML should be there. All right, so we can load it here. Okay, once again, the frame and the like links folder I'm um, uh, uploading right now. So you need to put these both in the same folder. All right, so frame src element two links. Make sure all the spellings are right, and like uh, if it's all lowercase, you should all write this lowercase links dot html do not miss dot html if you do not write dot html it will not work you just write this links simple it will not work all right 
So I'm just gonna name this link once again. We are not naming the document. We are just naming this place. I'm repeating. So if like someone is has for um, if went forward in the video, did not watch the whole for them. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna close this. Make sure all of this is correct because if you just mess up one thing, like you mess up this arrow, it will not be divided. The web browser don't won't be divided. And like these mistakes happen with me, and this is really frustrating. You have to like read the whole code and find a mistake. Anyways, just continue with the video. So now, lastly, it's a. Now we have to make the sub button. All right. So to use the links, we'll come to that later. All right. HTML body and this sub button will be here. So yeah, that's it. Well, this is all we need to do. So now we need to link them. So first of all, I have to make three more HTML documents for like if you click the subscribe button. For example, we're just doing gaming with, all right? Gaming with link click for uh, gaming game gaming with why the spelling not works all right so i'm just gonna close that this is just the most simple html document you can make html there we go so like what i want is when i click the gaming widths link it will open up it will open up this in the main frame over here so that's what i'm gonna do after i create the link i have created the gaming with after i create this tutorial with and subscribe page right so i'm just gonna save that real quickly and i'm just gonna go game.html there we go save now for the tutorial i'm just gonna copy this again from paste okay to speed up things and just gonna make this one click for tutorial with there you go save that and I'm just gonna name it as tut.html now that's done and now lastly for the sub button subscribe button so again I'm just gonna copy paste movie for sub button All right save that I'm just gonna name it as sub dot html there we go oops there we go so now we come to links now we want this to become a link like this gaming with text we want this to become a link that will open up this in the main frame so all we have to do for that is write this code a href make sure there's a gap in a and href equivalent to again the commas and now we want this thing like this is uh, like its name is game so we need to write the whole name as game and don't forget to write dot html to make it work there we go but you're not just gonna close it like this now you want it to be displayed in the main frame over here so we name the frame if you can come here the main frame we have created oh we have not loaded it yet that would be a terrible mistake. Let's just do that real quickly. Now, what do I have in my mainframe? Right. I have not even created the mainframe. Alright, let's just do that real quickly. Uh, now, we're just going to change this text to the Welcome to the main page. Say that real quickly. Main.html. There we go. That's done. Now we come back to there and we load it main.html. And I'm gonna name the frame main. Once again, this is just the name for the frame, not the document. So whatever name you put here, whatever name, if I want the text to be displayed in this frame, we need to write this code and this name must be important. We need to put this exactly how it is. So I come back to links and the code to display it in the main frame is target and I want it to be in the main frame main.html that's how you do it then you're gonna close this and this is going to be your link so and you come here slash a 
there we go okay so now again a a href equivalent to game.html tells that the browser would open this page and target main html dot html tells that the link clicked will display the information in this page href equivalent to now is for tutorial with so i named that tut tut dot html and again we close this and now again you do target target equivalent to main of course because we also want this to display in the main and same works for the last one you close this now this is going to your test text that will be the link remember the text that will be between a and slash a will be the text for the link all right and now we come here lastly a href element two now we have named it sub dot html yeah, there we go close the bubble uh, close the commas and target equivalent to main again main dot html there we go and again this will be the text for the link because it is in between a and slash a so there we go save that all right now it's final time to save this all right so you click on save it and now the most important thing for saving the uh, like uh, for saving the page in which you have written like frame set and loaded the frames that needs to be done in these commas so you're going to name this as frame.html close these commas so these are really important these right here and to do like in the same you can name it anything dot html is important but in this one these commas are also important so you need to make sure that dot html uh, is there and these two commas are there right save that so now i'm going to come to my folder and you open this main one there we go it should open in your web browser dot html means it will automatically convert it into these files there you go as you can see i told you that for the color to display here you need to do it on the page here we go we did that now for example say you were to change the color of the title to green all right let's do green bg color you go into green you close this save it and now it's still not coming so all you have to do is just refresh the page there you go it comes so now to test if the links actually work so this is divided into the main main page as you can see the line does not go over here and this is one and two three now i click the gaming with link it opens up here so that should not work we have messed up in the coding so maybe i'll do that in the next video and i'll tell you guys how to do it so guys as i said about the about the problem that was there the link was not opening it was because we wrote dot html we just have to write the name of the frame that was the mistake as i told you you make one mistake you're gonna mess up everything so that was just a small mistake minor mistake so you just remove dot html from all of these there you go save it and now when you reload it see now it works link clip for gaming with tutorial with link click for tutorial with subscribe button link click for subscribe button now it's coming here so guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed and learned something new if you like it smash the thumbs up video and if it, this video helped you in any way do consider subscribing it helps me so yeah i'll see you all in the next one peace